Richard Krause. And Robert, at what point did you enter the? Well, I, uh, he had, uh, Kirk had, uh, we had a meeting and he told me the story and then told me what it was based on and then uh, had photos of the whole, uh, the project of the traveling through across the country and everything. And I was impressed with how, how um, uh, passionate about the project he was. And, and But I could see that he just was, was special. He doesn't do movies often. This would have been, this would, would have been his third. And, um, and so that was important for me, knowing that he cared so much, uh, obviously. And so then I saw the original, and then I read, uh, saw his other two movies, and I read the, the script, and uh, then we just decided when to do it. Uh, Hi, uh, Mr. De Niro. Could uh, you talk a little bit about uh, how your personal life, I mean, I know your father was an artist. Uh, you would consider yourself an artist of a different type. How your personal life uh, affects the roles that you pick and the way you play them, perhaps uh, in this movie, especially with a, you know, with a father looking back on his life, this reflection. Yeah, I mean, I I uh, related to the Frank, obviously. Um, and drew on my own experiences, like I do in all my parts. I mean, I you draw on whatever you whatever is relevant uh, uh, to the part that you're playing. Um, it makes it more personal. And uh, there was a lot here, of course. I have five children, two grandchildren. Um, and but you know, also going back to Kirk being the director, caring. That's the that's the anchor of the whole thing. So that's really really important. That's more important than the role itself. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it's not more important, but it's it, it, it equally as important, depending, because um, uh, he has to steer the ship, do all, you know, it's his baby, so he's got to, you know, make, he's got to make the choices and all that. And uh, so I put myself in his hands, so to speak. Good morning. Um, um, I love this movie so much, the most moving parts for me were when we see the telephone poles. And we're living in a society now where, when was the last time you heard a busy signal? So, um, do you guys get nostalgic for those times? And, and if so, are you into the techno gadgets? Do you need to talk about that? Hmm. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. <laughs> 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 Elaborate, please. You tweet. Bob Twitter's a lot. <laughs> no, I don't tweet. I've Twittered a, just a... Like that. <laughs> Somebody told me about it. I didn't know what it was. And I said, Twitter. <laughs> I'm Twittering right now. <laughs> Did each of you actors weigh in on that too? Say, I'm on the computer. Yeah, no, I, uh, yeah, I mean, I have memories of calling my agent from a phone booth, you know, and, um, you know, I can still remember Greek diners that I went to, you know. And I got a call back for that that movie, you know, and oh, oh I almost got that. Or, you know, there's memories of uh, being frustrated and hitting a, a phone booth, you know, maybe for one reason or another. Um, so, yeah, sure. Uh, but, you know, it's it, texting, the texting thing is very, it gets it gets to be too much. You know? I, I, for me, certainly, you know, you're the multitasking. I read an article in The Week recently where they said, well, what's the special... What makes a multitasker great at being a multitasker? And they said nothing, because they can't really do anything well, you know, because they're trying to do too many things, you know. So, yeah, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I uh, use a computer. I, I don't even know how good I am at it. I, I slowly use little things and get emails and and I, I look at videos on um, on the computer. And I use an iPhone. And uh, yeah, I guess I use it adequately. That's good for research. Too. Yeah, it's really great. I, I, mean, I should probably went for research, but I don't. But, um, so the first question is uh, with your own father. Yeah, with my own father. <clears throat> yeah, he, he was uh, he was pretty easy on me about what I wanted to do, be an actor and stuff like that. Uh, uh, yeah, he he was. Um, he came, uh, my grandfather was more, sh more strict, more old school, old time uh, Italian uh, thing. Um, 
not, not even strict that much, I think, my impression of him, but more than, say, I was, and my father certainly was. He came from that to New York City and to get away from certain things, and I, uh, they raised me kind of easily, and uh, the fact that I want to be an actor, that was okay with them. My, my mother and father. And my kids, I try not to be um, too strict with, but there are certain things they have to do. At the same time, I don't want them to get away with anything. Uh, but I, I think I'm pretty, I try to rationalize with them and argue that, say, so look, I'm very good with you about certain things. I let you do this, so you have to now do this. I mean, that's only fair. Um, so, you know, <laughs> of course, there are times when that stuff doesn't work, but, uh, you know, you'd love to be the all-knowing, all-seeing, you know, but, but I think in general it's, it's pretty good. You mean curfew kind of things? I, I don't put a curfew. I think to do this, get the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm flexible with, with certain uh, things that the kids have to, to, um, to do. They have to go to, it's not like a curfew. I say you got to go to sleep at a certain time, or, you know. And the other part? Huh? The other part was about the yeah. comedy she asked. Oh, the comedy thing? What, you mean in this movie or in? Yeah, general, um, in this movie is, the comedy scene is not so comedy, comedy, it's not comedy. In this movie, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny, so what are you most concerned about is paying attention, not so kind of physical that you have to make an you know, audience laugh. Well, this is a more, a more a gentle sort of, uh, what would you call it? Uh, the, the comedy in, in, in this is not like, say, Meet the Parents, which is some... It's more kind of observational, yeah. uh, you know, which we kind of all see in our own parents and our comedy, own yeah. and things. Um, Dramedy, so yeah. Right. Dramedy, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bob, you've worked on every scale of movie, from you know, big mega productions to uh, an indie like this, and as both a producer, uh, a actor, and director. Do you... Talk about the difference between the experience of working in those big, big scale films and, and working on this one. Are you going to do more indies like this, more smaller scale films like this going forward? Yeah, I think uh, I will. I, I um, well, the difference is you have more, you have more time, you have more. There's just a lot more. There are a lot more people on the set, a lot more trucks, a lot more. It's a big production. I don't know. It's just. Somehow, I mean, making movies that are very simple. Ultimately, I, I always wonder when I walk on, on a <clears throat> on a big movie and you see all these trucks and this, and I say, just 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 to get this, you got to get all these people. It's and of course, those are only certain movies that do that. But um, it, it was good. This to me is a normal. Time. I think we shot eight weeks. Yeah. So eight weeks is a is a pretty good schedule. It's an independent film, sort of. But but um, I, an independent is would even be less than than what was on this film I think um, really you know be cost less uh, to make maybe a, a shorter schedule like five weeks four weeks. Mm -hmm. Will you be doing more like this? Yes, yeah, I would. Yeah, you have yeah. some things like mine or some, yeah, yeah. Not tell us. <laughs> you know that's. Uh, <laughs> And with Kirk, hopefully, you know. Are you doing another Meet the Parents? We're doing the third, the Meet the Little Fockers. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Krause.